Welcome back to Battalion Nemesis. In the last one, General Pro was captured by the enemy, and in this one, we're going to reclaim her. Chapter 4, Prisoner of War. Captain Tucker is hot on the hues of Mullen, a traitor who has captured General Pro and is attempting to make his escape. Tucker must recover Pro. She's too valuable to the Northern Federation to lose. With that, let's begin. Damn that Tucker, his tanks are too fast. Eliminate him so we can get on with the operation. In his rush to escape, Mullen abandoned a war factory in the area. Our troops have secured it. We can win this battle through attrition if we need to. So, the first point here is that the goal we want to capture first is this bottom one right here. That way we can move this strike commando up to capture the blue one. And then finally towards the one on the right. Movement is very important, so we'll be able to capture all of this in 6 rounds if we really need to. Our next goal is to station our rocket truck somewhere right here. This set of planes is very important. So I'm going to have a scorpion tank here to intercept anything that tries to cross into it. I'll have another scorpion tank right behind in case I need to. And we're going to stretch out this rocket truck as we need. One of the worries we have is that there's a heavy commando right here. And he can actually attack through the mountains if he needs to. Otherwise, the biggest problem is that we won't be able to get very much time for repairs. As in, this entire swarm of troops goes down this road. So as time goes on, they'll keep pushing and pushing on forward. And we need a solid defense with that. So, what is our solid defense, you might ask? Are we building motor trucks? Or maybe these flak tanks in order to take care of the troops? Or maybe just a shit ton of heavy commandos because they do heavy damage against tanks. We're going to be building the backbone of our army. This entire map will completely be overrun by scorpion tanks. They're fast, they do a lot of damage with their blitz capability, they are very endearing in damage considering they have medium armor and medium attack, so nothing can really deflect the damage. The scorpion tank will be able to cover up a lot of our bases and we'll be able to pump a consistent amount of them later on to the point we won't have to worry too much about it. If I really need to, I might build a flak tank for this one heavy troop that might be coming in after me or I might build a rocket truck in order to take care of the artillery if more comes in otherwise we should be just fine and we are going to start by immediately eliminating this rocket truck with 40 health the reason why it died immediately is because the scorpion tank has 35 damage and blitz will add a 20% bonus scorpion tanks are very effective but they can't do too much damage against any targets that are highly specialized like airplanes or anything that has range on it it's a fairly just mediocre it's enough it's what you want out of your tank and it looks like this heavy commando is going to cross into our territory in fact we definitely don't want this thing to start capturing our stuff and we don't want tanks to be attacking it considering it's a heavy commando and it's simply not going to be very effective what i want is a flak tank and we're probably going to have one built very soon First, I want him to cross into the mountain range though, just to make it a little bit more difficult for him. Take care of this flak tank, and it doesn't- oh, we can reach this. Alright, we're going to hit the rocket, tr the scorpion tank, and we're going to use blitz in order to destroy it. That in mind, I'm going to send another tank in as reinforcement. Since our commando has captured this, it's time to move on to capture the other oil refinery. And for the most part, I'm going to save my money in case I need repairs. You'll also notice that there's an air control right here, and we probably won't be able to get to it. The best positioning for this map is to hug this lower half and just defend the site. They can't get anywhere else. There's no actual escape thing. They can't control our command center unless that one commando gets in here, so we shouldn't have too much to worry about. As long as we fight this fight over here in this checkpoint and chokehold, we should be just fine. The important thing we need to do though is cycle through our tanks. So first I want to destroy this scorpion tank as soon as possible. I'm going to have it attack considering it's low on health but it will immediately get the kill. Otherwise from that, I don't know how I want to position myself considering I can't get at this rocket truck. It will probably be positioned very soon. And we have a small ticking time bomb right here which is the annihilator tank. This thing will completely destroy all the scorpion tanks we have unless we are fully built up beforehand. So I think I'm going to produce a flak tank now, see if it will actually continue crossing. 
Over here, I think I want to initiate on... I have two tanks, and they are both able to hit the commando. The commando itself is not very damaging, let's be frank. However, if I do that, the scorpion tanks will get free run on me, and the flak tank will also be able to attack. I think my goal is that I'd rather have that scorpion tank destroy my first tank. The rocket truck might fire upon my scorpion, so I think I'm going to move them back. If we hold a defensive position, we might be able to attack later. So let's see what they do. So I think the commandos just caught wind of the idea that they can run through the mountains. So we have something like that to worry about now. The Annihilator tank is on its way, and so is that rocket truck, which is very dangerous. So what I want to do is start shooting at this rocket truck. The even amount of damage, I'll get more for initiating the attack and it for the counter attack. We'll have our flak tank take care of our base so that nothing will attack and damage our stuff. We have $444, so I don't think I'll need another scorpion tank just yet. Time to capture our last oil refinery. The rocket truck might be able to hit that. I'm going to have my flak tank destroyed and have this one initiate on the other scorpion tank claiming ground and with that i'll probably hold off on it what i'm begging or hoping on is that this rocket truck will choose to not initiate if it does i'll still blow it off the water in the next round so we should be fine that commando is down the rocket truck is going to initiate that's fine and it seems like these strike commands are going to attempt to cross through the mountain after all and the Annihilator tank is on its way now, so let's completely destroy this rocket truck. We'll send you into the midst to begin the attack. And I think I'm going to need another Scorpion tank for this. My flag tank is just fine where it is, but I'm going to repair it in case these Striker Mounts choose to go through the mountains. They're going to send their two tanks into repair, which I'll let them do. And for the most part, they're actually running out on troops. They have a few strike commandos, and that's about it. I'm going to have you get destroyed. And if I have the movement space, I'm going to initiate on this scorpion tank, which we will not be able to attack back, considering it was repairing. And what I want to do is start marching our little troop over here forward. Just in case he needs some extra damage though. Etc, etc. If we really end up at that situation, we'll just capture the air point. But by then, we'll probably only have one Strike Commando and one Annihilator to fight against. So let's destroy this. That, Scorp that Scorpion tank is essentially thrown out of water, so that's fine. I'm going to use the hill as a little bit of cover, or whatever it gives. Camouflage. And increases maximum range of attack. Alright. That's probably better for uh, trucks. Alright, let's move our units forward. And I'm actually going to, if able, move my unit into the forest later. No, it probably won't be able to move into this forest. Maybe, maybe, probably not. They want to consider it nonetheless. I'm not sure why they're moving the Annihilator tank here, considering those things can't cross uh, through the land. I'll position you right here. Since you chose to repair, I'm actually going to initiate on you. I'll set you up for repair so I don't actually lose a tank. And for you, I'm going to move you forward as well. If anything, this uh, this mission shows how important a scorpion tank is. Your first basic area of fighting. We don't have the range yet, but we'll be able to attack that uh, annihilator tank soon. And what I want to do is actually repair and move a little bit back. Just so I'm out of its range. It still might be able to take on my scorpion tank. And it will be able to. But it's repairing so we can't do too much about that. And I don't think I'll need to worry too much about anything else. So I'm going to save my money and we're going to have our flak tank just take care of this. Alright. Let's start damaging the annihilator tank. With whatever we got. Shouldn't worry too much about it. Commandos do 22 damage. 
and I believe it's light damage, so it's not very effective. So no, we'll leave you right there. Might draw the fire, I'm not sure. And this thing is going to be their gunfight. I won't be able to mobilize anything in time. Frankly, the battle is about to end. Considering that Annihilator tank is the last troop, and it's pretty much near being destroyed. We've captured the Air Force, so if I really want. I mean, I can pump out a Raptor fighter, just because it's cool. But otherwise, we are going to finish off this Annihilator tank very soon. Just like that. Oh, okay. Well, fuck you too, then. Send at 3 HP, you little cunt. Well, fuck off. You like missiles? I bet you do. And with that, we finish the mission. You know, Pearl, ma'am, are you injured? I'll be fine, soldier. Nice work. Let's get back to base and wait for Central. What are we doing? Mullen's making his escape. Don't worry about him. We need to take care for General Pearl right now. Get our bearings again. Tucker's right, Argent. We need to take a minute. Mullen has a lot of privileged information to pull this off. I think our problem is bigger than we thought. With that, we complete Chapter 4 and we reclaim General Pearl. I'll see you in the next chapter.